These are all of the 23 cards currently available which have the fast keyword. You will find 18 of them in the core box, 4 of them in the main Dunwich Legacy box, and one of them is a promo card that comes with Marie Lambeau. 20 of these fast cards are event cards and 3 of these fast cards are asset cards. And obviously there are no skill cards because skill cards are only committed to test. The cards are found on page 11 of the rules reference. But in summary, these are asset and event cards that don't cost an action to play. Normally if you have an asset or an event card in your hand, you will use the play action on your turn, pay any costs and bring it into play. Fast card still comes into play from your hand and there may still be resource costs that you need to pay but you don't use the play action and it doesn't use up one of the three actions you get per turn. And there are some fast cards like this one that you play outside your turn and outside the investigator phase. There are eight event cards that say play only during your turn. And these would function like any other event, such as blinding light or sneak attack, but they don't use one of your three actions. You can play them before your actions, after your actions, or between them, in any kind of mix and match you like. And there's no limit to the amount of fast cards that you can play either. Twelve cards that have specific triggering points. A good example is dodge, which says play when an enemy attacks an investigator at your location. So whenever this happens, either in the enemy phase or as the result of an attack of opportunity in another phase, you can play this card. Lucky is another good example. Whenever you would fail a skill test, you get to play Lucky from your hand. All of their effects will begin with the words play after or play when. And the text that comes next will tell you the specific timing point that opens up and allows you to play that card. There are also three assets with the fast keyword. These don't say play on your turn and they don't contain any kind of timing triggering. You get to bring these into play during any player window on your turn. So before you take your actions, after you've taken all of your actions, or in between your actions is a player window, so any time during one of those. Using cards with a fast keyword will also save you from attacks of opportunity as well. Say that it's Wendy's turn in the investigator phase, and she's engaged with the mystery monster, which is readied and in her threat area, and she wants to try and defeat it to get those two sweet victory points. But with her tiny one combat, she's going to need a little bit of help. She's got some cards in her hand, but remember, playing one of those cards is not a fight, evade, parley or resign, so she will suffer an attack of opportunity. So if she were to pay two to bring the baseball bat into play, or pay one to bring the knife into play, the mystery monster would attack. But if she had the switchblade in her hand, because that has the fast keyword on it, that doesn't provoke an attack of opportunity because it doesn't use an action. It isn't that fast cards have a special ability that means they ignore attacks of opportunity, it's the fact that a fast card will not use an action, and it's the using an action which triggers the attack of opportunity. And the fast keyword only covers bringing fast cards into play from your hand. If they're an asset and you wanted to use the ability on the asset, that would be covered by the normal rules. But because this card has a fight action, fight actions do not trigger attacks of opportunity. So we're safe when we play it from our hand, and we're safe when we use it in play. Best of all, because it's a fast keyword card, it doesn't use up one of her three actions. So she still has three actions to try and defeat the mystery monster. Now let's say it was Daisy instead, and she's engaged with the mystery monster who is ready, but Daisy needs to do some urgent investigating. She's got a pair of glasses in her hand. There's a player window before she takes any of her actions, so she can pay one resource to bring the magnifying glass into play. And because there's the fast keyword, it doesn't use one of her three actions, therefore it doesn't trigger an attack for opportunity. And again, in the same player window, or a little bit later in one of the other player windows on her turn, she could bring another magnifying glass into play. And again, it's fast, doesn't use an action, doesn't provoke an attack of opportunity, so she's safe from the mystery monster. But if she wanted to use the investigate action to discover some clues, she will get an attack of opportunity from the mystery monster. Because the investigate action isn't listed as one of the four actions which doesn't trigger attacks of opportunity, she will get attacked. And there's nothing on the magnifying glasses, and there's nothing on the keyword fast which prevents attacks of opportunity in this way because she's now spending an action. Whereas bringing it into play from her hand was not spending an action. Clear as mud? If Daisy did urgently need to discover some clues, what she'd be better off doing is playing the fast action working a hunch. Because it's an event, it's triggered from your hand. It doesn't go into play and require spending an action. Pay the costs on your turn, 
Discover one clue at your location and straight to the discard pile. It's anything which uses an action which triggers the attack of opportunity. And fast cards, when they're played, in or outside your turn, don't use that action, and thus don't trigger. There are 15 fast cards available at level 0, two of which are mandatory investigator specific ones. 8 of the 23 fast cards are experience cards, and we have a good variety of 1 to 4 pips, with the seekers having one of the cheapest and the most expensive. And there are 3 cards which have a level 0 and an experienced version. Mystics get the least amount of fast cards, and both of those cost 1. Rogues get double that amount, with their cards costing 1 and 2. And Guardians also get 4 cards, but theirs all cost 1. Survivors get an extra 1 for a total of 5, and there's a spread between 1, 2 and 4. But it's undoubtedly Seekers, with their 6 fast cards, 3 of which cost 0 to play, and their highest one only cost 2. Both the Mystic fast cards have the spell trait. Another common trait is Tactic. Another is Insight. These cards have the fortune, which means that you can't put them in Rex Murphy's deck. Fast cards are often very cheap, with the majority of them only costing one resource. This is because many of them are played outside your turn when you don't have access to a lot of resources. Icon-wise, there is plenty of variety, starting at zero with the bulk of them having two icons. So if it doesn't look like your timing point is coming around anytime soon, chuck them into a skill test. Today we'll be discussing these milk sea salt caramel truffles from British chocolatier Charbonnel and Walker.